Hey everybody, my name is Blackjack. Welcome back to Sly 4 Thieves in Time. Last time we put an end to the Grizz and this a time we made two of Mice and Max. We're going to buy our shrink ammo and never use it because it's not that good. Basically what it does is it shrinks your enemies. That's about it. It doesn't do damage or nothing. Um, and we're going to be playing this a little differently. So normally I go after all the bottles, but we're going to need Sir Galleth and uh, Sly's costume for a few of the uh, masks and treasures and such. And with the clockwork eye, I now no longer need a map to find all the bottles because the game provides it for us and they appear on a little mini map. Um, so the clockwork eye shows all the bottles and the safe uh, does not show any of the treasures or any of the Sly masks. Um, but yeah. And these are the enemies. I really like them, the little hedgehog guys. They're maces or they're morning stars. I'm, not, I'm actually not positive uh, what those are, but they have like chains on them. So when they swing them, they get like inc they, they have like range on them. It's pretty cool. And then uh, there's another enemy too that walks around here, the owls. And then we have these wolf guys. They, the wolf guys really remind me of like Contessa's levels. They have like that same like build, but they're robot mechs. They have swords. They throw. They literally throw the swords at you. It's mad fun. Uh, oh, no, they don't throw the, they, they have a sword for them. They shoot missiles at you. That's what it is. And then the owl guys, they have crossbows. Uh, it's really funny. So we're going to use our little flash bomb. I'm not sure if I have a flash bomb. I think I have a flash bomb. And um, I don't have the ability to walk while stealing as of right now. But we're going to be looking for the three treasures, which I end up finding a bunch here. Pocket Watch is going to be your 100. You have a Platinum Gear, I believe it's called, for your 200. But the one that you really want is the Emerald Dragon Eye, which is the 500. And lucky for me, I believe I picked up a few of those. So why don't we begin our first mission by trying to grab our, uh, our suit. First off, Sly, you'll need a more appropriate outfit to infiltrate the circus. But in order to do that... I'm going to need some raw materials. The trick is going to be finding some quality wood, leather, and metal. Sure. Anything else you want me to pick up while I'm out? Eggs, milk, maybe some wax for your shell. Just get going, Sly. Roasted. Okay. Well, so we're going to have to figure out how to pick up. Not just to pick them up, but where to pick them up and how to pick them up. And uh, hey, you have a shiny. I didn't mean to bombard you good sir with your 200 coin platinum gear what look at that my memory is pretty good i edited all these videos like two days ago <laughs> today or yesterday or whatever and out of the corner of my eye i totally saw that sir you sir have a shiny that i want it better be a good one give me give me the shiny bro stop walking away oh hey the emerald eye wow all right cool well, looks like my luck, my luck is coming up blackjack. So let's hang around here and hear out some of these. Uh, hey, what's up? You have a thing. Hold on. Hold on. What do you have? Oh, it's Pocket Watch. I thought that was a second. I know I get another one. <laughs> I remember I get two emerald eyes in this video. I thought it was like back to back. It was not back to back. I was going to say my luck is definitely coming up blackjack, but... Uh... Tis not, sir. Tis not. Anyway, we're gonna eavesdrop on these rebel guards. Your bearings are grinding again. Sounds like you need some oil. Tell me about it. I had to take the kids to the beach last weekend. Man, I hate sand. Oh yeah, it's the worst. I wish it was break time. I really need a pint of fuel. Yeah. We should head over to the tavern. I hear the new metal alloy in the mixers adds a nice tangy flavor. That's and it. I hate head sand. Tavern, <laughs> That's mad funny. That's like uh that's 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 almost uh, an Anakin Skywalker line right there. Why? Wow, because it's coarse and it, it it gets everywhere. I don't know where I'm pulling out the British. Because it, it is admittedly a very terrible accent. I don't know why I keep doing <laughs> oh, Look at all these loots, man. That mugshot belt buckle coin thing is... Oh, another emerald coin. I mean, emerald eye. Can you, sir, walk... Give it to me. Sir. Rude. Don't walk away from me. 
So I like to kill um, any of the guards that give me items because if they stay on the map, they don't respawn with coins unless you have to like reload the area. But if you kill them, they'll another one will respawn. Um, whether or not they come with coins, I don't know. I don't know what the, the calculations are for that. But yeah, we're going to go to the tavern and we're going to pick up a nice, nice bit smells like gas. That's probably the guard, Sly. Not that kind of gas. I mean fuel. Well, stay away from any open blades and grab that sample. I was going to say leather, but I'm glad they said metal before I said leather. Um, and two, Sly, it is the guards, man. They're metal. They're, they obviously run on fuel, bro. What are you, dumb? You're from the modern ages. These guys are fuel clearly fire robots. In the same room. That's smart. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think no one thought of that. I like how they're not paying attention to me just idly walking up to the table and then disappearing underneath it. Gotta love robots. Boy, all those cockroaches are definitely making me feel vomity. So we're gonna jump around here and then grab ourselves a metal cog. But just be careful because the electricity will... hurt. I almost did it again. <laughs> so we're just gonna wait, grab the thing, and we're gonna just walk out the front door. Like, uh, like, like a thief. No one will suspect a thing, I say, if I just walk right out the door like a normal gent. Do you have a thing? No? Okay. You're of no use to me, sir. Rude. Rude. And then we appear on top of the, of the map for some reason. I don't, I don't know. I don't understand. Make it make sense. I love through the front door. Anyway, uh, we're going to walk on over. We're going to see if we can eavesdrop again. Perhaps we can learn of an area that gives us a leather. I th or maybe it's wood. I think wood's next. And here is the safe house. No worries. We're not going to walk right in here. I just wanted to run on the ropes a little bit. I love the sprint on ropes ability. It's a really good one. Oh, I see this bottle. I don't want to actually run on those because uh, I I'm trying not to break them. I, I like to wait for the whole bottle episode to break them. But this is where we're going to be eavesdropping. You hear about Kramer? No. What happened? Poor guy managed to get his refigurator demagnetized. Oh man, that's got to hurt. Yeah, I try to stay away from metal. That's not me, I mean. You should transfer to the bakery. Nothing but wood and bread in there. Great, Sly. Head to the bakery and grab some wood. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't worry about that, man. I got all the wood nubs. <laughs> uh, yeah, all right, let's grab some wood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why not? <laughs> Saying nothing about these metal guards. Well, get out of here. That's crazy that the robot guys they can't got to stay away from the metal. To uh, the bakery. Uh, the bakery will obviously give us a nice, long, hard wood, uh, flexible little yieldy 12 inches has a dragon string heart string uh, in the metal core okay, Let's see if I can make a little made out of you <laughs> all right so we're gonna be playing uh system cracker I almost forgot the name of this one and we're gonna swap over here to the panzer we're just gonna annihilate any and all enemy tanks we're gonna blow up these pink crystals like they were nothing they don't stand a chance against my digital tank and my world of world of tanks inspired cosplay. Get out of here. Bam, look at that direct shot. Alright, and then these pink switches can only be killed by the thing. Um so we're just gonna slowly but surely make our way over down to the shell code. There we go. And we're gonna sneak on by, pick up that key. Which again, the shell code's the only one that can do this. Right, there's gotta be a lock for this around here. Yeah, probably somewhere around here. I don't know why you have to keep it. This is like the fourth one, Bentley. You don't have to keep explaining how to play the game. Gosh. Ooh, another Panzer. Look at that. Pink to pink, just the way that I like it. I I, I feel the need to destroy all the crystals. I don't 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 judge me. I just I, it's just like an inert thing. It feels weird if I don't. 
We're gonna just go around the bend right over here. These electric field things are kind of... Oh, wow, I got that guy right in one shot. Dope. Um, they, they, these things do damage to you, but I don't know. They're not really all that big a thing. Um, big deal. They do come become more of a hassle when there's like a whole room of them you have to like navigate but even then it's really not all that bad until you get caught like i did damn bro holy shit wow all right we're gonna pretend like that didn't happen he hit me and, I, and then he gave me health and oh that's that worked out for all of us i assume all right so i'm just gonna break up all these little little pink things Perfect. I think you can shoot the mines, so they're not even that big a deal. We're gonna blow up these useless firewalls. Um, and then this should actually be the last one, I think. Oh, you can't? Hey, I thought you could. Right. Oh, no, there's this one more. Oh, there's one more. Okay, yeah, sorry. I forgot. There's like a little battle with the, the big tank guy. So this big uh, hexagonal guy, he's really not that hard if you have the Panzer, because the Panzer can hit all the things in a few shots. But there is a variety of them that appears in the extra maps. Actually, I think you fight them once in the main story, now that I think about it. Um, but yeah, they're really not that bad, except for that special one that comes later. Anyway, into the fire, uh, we're going to be running around here. This kind of reminds me of slide 2. Maybe there's a secret donut facility. Maybe you should give the jokes a rest and see if you can find some wood. <laughs> Fine. See if I bring you back any donuts. If you can't stand the heat, try this place is making me hungry. So I remember, I remember Sly One. You can like slam those things not one level on Raleigh's ship. But uh, remember, you have the samurai suit. So you could just walk right through it. And then we're just gonna grab this wood that isn't burnt. Perfect. So. Just slam the thing and then run on out of here. That was easy. Barely an inconvenience. Not even a guard in sight. Crazy. This place isn't this place is isn't under lock and key or nothing. Just just locked by digital hackable things. Remember this area for later. There is a treasure here. This little cup. Uh, we'll be coming back here much later in the LP. Um. I don't think you, I mean, I think you can bring treasures to the hideout at this point, because you just don't have to enter, you have to make it to the hideout, to like the waypoint. I think you, I think you still can bring treasures here. Um, da -da 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 -da, what was I going to say? I was going to say something about that actually earlier. Uh, we're going to be taking care of a lot of these treasures later on when we get the suit. There's a specific suit we're going to need in the next uh, hub world that makes gathering treasures so much easier, which is why I wasn't really going after all of them in Cave of the Clan. A clan of the cave raccoon. Um, yeah, I was, I was like, he's a, he doesn't see me. <laughs> I was hoping he would turn around. The shoemakers. Alrighty. So we are going to head on down to the shoemakers. And we're just going to walk right in through the front door, not even be stopped by this guy who's chilling right in front of it. Alright, well, we're going to walk down. Or okay, rather, oh, spider, I guess. To be some leather in there. Find it. You're a leather. Get out of here, Bentley. Can I go under that? Huh. Where does that bring me down there? Hey, Bentley, this doesn't look like any medieval cobblers I've seen. Yeah, even women's shoe stores aren't this diabolical. There's something fishy going on here. I agree. For now, just find the leather and get out of there. Alright, well, I guess it leads over here if you go underneath that thing. 
Uh, so instead of finding a way and flying, we're going to hook on to this little arm. And just dangle, jingle, jangle, jangle, all our way down until here. When this guard's going to be asleep, and we're just going to sneak on through here, this convenient vent for us. <laughs> oh, this guard is going to get wrecked, sir. Oh, he has nothing. Yeah, not worth it. Yeah, let's just grab our stuff before I before I before I hit him and then lose the challenge. I have to recrawl through the thing. You know, good good idea, good idea. Great job. With those materials, I'm going to be able to make you some very useful items. All right. So let's see what can we purchase today. Let's see, moving with a pickpocket, that's going to be useful. Sprint while charging, not so useful. Scorching hover pack, useful. So moving while pickpocketing means that you can move all you pickpockets. Really not that hard to understand. Scorching hover pack uh, is actually an attack. You can jump over enemies and glide, and you will automatically burn them. Uh, kind of useful actually for like the smaller enemies. And then moving while charging is just moving while charging. Just simple. I don't really use the moving attacks all that much. Uh, to begin with, especially with Murray. We're just gonna steal some shmoney, because I wasted some shmoney. Hey, you have a uh, shiny on you by any ch per chance? No? Okay. I'm just gonna move while stealing. Um, you gotta be careful with moving while stealing, because you tend to bump into the enemies a lot more than I'd like to admit. Well, let's begin this mission real quick. Alright, it seems that Gallus is being held somewhere inside those circus tents. Sly, I've spotted a small opening at the top of that far tent. What I don't see is how you are going to get up there. Oh, the circus. I could have been the greatest trapeze artist. Uh -huh, sure. Anyway, the tent... And with your shell, you'd be a natural for the guy they shoot out of the cannon every night. Right, He's a paraplegic, bro. <laughs> check out that tower. It's a good vantage point, and we can assess the situation from there. <laughs> He's, what's that? What's that flash game where you launch the turtle? It's just a really dark humor image of Bentley with his dangly legs getting launched out of a can. <laughs> That's such a messed up thing. <laughs> so yeah, you don't have the costume until. It tells you you have a costume. That bow I made you will work perfectly here. Press the other two buttons to change into the outfit now. All right, now grab one of the arrows from that basket. Try standing next to it and pressing the circle button. Why, that bow will fire an arrow with an attached rope. Use it to create a pathway here. Try to hit that target across the gap. Press and hold the R1 button to draw the bow, then release it to fire. Okay, well, this is my favorite suit in the game, I think. Um, I like that you can shoot the arrow and then control the arrow, and then some of these arrow bu bu buckets that you find lying around, um, they don't have ropes, so you could just use them to kill enemies. <laughs> it's just, it's pretty dope. We're just gonna jump down the hole, slide go down the hole. Wow, somehow this place looks smaller from the outside. Fly by scan shows the ground in here is rigged with motion detectors, which means you'll need to stay off the floor. You wanted to be a trapeze artist? Here's your chance. Cool. How does this sound for a stage name? The Amazing Cooperone! Huh? Huh? Right? It's good. It sounds like bad Italian takeout. I'm betting that platform is where they're keeping Gallus. Go check it out. All right, smart guy. On my way. All right, so we're just gonna be uh, launching our our arrows around uh, willy nilly. I was showing off the the maneuverability uh, of the arrows, but the thing I don't like about the archer suit is that you can't speed run on, or you can't like sprint walk on these wires. We're gonna jump down here to continue the mission and shoot a uh, rope arrow through the fire, through the flames. And uh, we're gonna have to just wait a little bit. 
So the thing about running on the ropes, if you hold R1, you actually run forward automatically. You don't have to hold the analog stick. Unless you want to change the direction. And then around here I remembered, oh wait, there's a slime mask above here somewhere. And then I end up going backwards uh, for a little while. And I was like, wait a minute, yeah, I was like, this is the part I was like, oh, there's a slime mask around here somewhere. It's like, let's see, where I know it's around here. And there it is, you can see it in the background. I was like, how do I get that? So I end up backtracking a little bit. You actually can't get it from the beginning. You have to... All right, deserve that. You actually, um, you, you can get it uh, as you progress through the level. There's like a, a hidden, like not a, not a hidden, I wouldn't say it's hidden. Like, it's it's just like there's a box that's in front of it and you have to break the box. Um, it's not like hidden, like it's below you, you can't see it, but it, more so like they just put something in front of it. Um, and this is where the confusion came for me because it looks like I'm supposed to shoot an arrow to that uh, to that moving target over there. But when you walk over here to this bucket, you can't get a clear shot of it. So I was like, oh, is this where you shoot the arrow? But no, it's not where you shoot the arrow. Uh, you, you shoot the arrow a little a little later. But you can see it's right, right at the beginning. Right over there. Um, I think the arrow doesn't have enough. It's like a time thing. You look at your meter when you're, when you're shooting the arrow. I, I think your meter will run out before it hits that target. I don't think you can actually make that shot. So you're supposed to... Uh, shoot from a different angle and I was like why can't I how do I get that one and I figured maybe it was like a little later in that late level so we're just going to not die here I promised myself I wouldn't burn again and we're going to crawl around the side here like like a perfect little trapeze master no not trapeze what, what are those guys that run on tight ropes now, trapeze are the things that you swing on, right? Ah, well, whatever. We're gonna hop on these horns, but uh, they will fall if you if you chill on them for too long. So just a heads up. They, I was just I did that for educational purposes, not for uh, for you know dramatic effect or whatever. So here we are. We're gonna shoot across. Uh, <laughs> I was like, where's the target? But as you can see, the little meter is going down. You actually can't make that shot. Um, and you can see like the targets behind that barrel too, so don't worry. You're gonna shoot your your arrow at this moving target right here. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention if you hit the the bullseye with your arrows, you actually get coins out of it. It's pretty fun. Let me break this box, and here is where the the box of arrows are, and then it's hidden in quotations behind the barrel, so you can shoot an arrow and hit the target itself. And make it that way, or you can hit the barrel. I think if you hit the barrel, it goes right through. It's a target I'm almost fairly positive. But there's a slime mask there. I think this is the only one, to my recollection. So on to the trapeze themselves. Yeah, I noticed. We're gonna launch ourselves off this catapult. It's such a fun level. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna be doing some cannonball dodging. That's that's wild. Okay, I'm totally. Missed there by accident. We're gonna try that again. We're gonna try that again. <laughs> I didn't realize the target was moving. I, I totally just missed. Oh, and then I died. Okay, well, let's try that again, I guess. Boink. This suit would be even better if you get to, like, hold on to a few arrows, like two or three arrows, and then press circle to shoot them. Oh, that'd be really cool. Or R2 or something. To shoot them, that'd be really dope. Okay, so then we're going to wait for this trapeze right here to swing on, and we're going to pretend like we're pretty, pretty ballerinas. And jump from trapeze to pole to trapeze to flyer to trapeze. Back to the floor onto our arrows. And we're going to fall off the map like a skilled clown would. I'm, I'm trying to be the jester here. <laughs> And, okay, hold on, I'm better at this, I swear. We're just going to go around the cannonballs. I'm tired of shooting straight. We're just going to curve it around. Pop. Nailed it. Yes, I, I did, sir. Know where all these cannonballs are landing. Well, they're clearly landing on the fucking floor, Sly, or on your face, so stop getting hit, bruh. It's not okay. Is this much I can't believe I didn't get hit. 
right there. Oh, wow. All right, cool. So we're just going to jump around these trumpets before they fall and then climb up this rope all the way because there is a second slime master. I, that's right, there was two. <laughs> and then uh, once I saw that rope, I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> there is another one here. Uh, time your, your slide down that dragon flame thing. And then up here right, should be Sir Gal. Gal, you around here? Oh, Gallop. That's... Bro, what? I, I totally could have made that without getting hurt. Alright, whatever. We're just gonna dive down here. Alright, now to Sir Gallop. We're just gonna shoot an arrow to that spinny target right there. I should try this blindfolded. Was that not a bullseye? Come on, man. That was totally a bullseye. Bro, that's a bullseye. Get out, get out of here. Get out of here. That's a bullseye. Get, get out of here. I should have given me coins for that. That's mean, game. Mean. That's like a 10 out of 10 points on an archery scale. I don't know anything about archery. 10 out of 10 points. Sir Galleth? My name is Sly. I've come to rescue you. Greetings, friend. But I require no rescue. I am merely biding my time until the uh, proper strategic moment. Yes, that. So, how long have you been biding your time? Well, I suppose it has been about a fortnight. All right. If you want to stay here with the cannonballs and flaming rings, that's fine. I'm heading back to my gang's hideout to plan our next move. You make a good point, sir. Yes, I believe the time is now. Let us rush forward, that we may strike a crushing blow against the black tyrant who imprisoned me. Whoa, one thing at a time. Let's just get back to the hideout first. He's talking about the Black Knight, I swear, guys. The Black Knight. Whew. <laughs> <laughs> Once Sir Galleth calmed down, we returned to the hideout and got the whole story. The surrounding area was held in the iron grip of a fearsome Black Knight. His origin was a mystery, but his power and technological might was impressive. He'd even created a new type of robotic guard, which patrolled tirelessly and without mercy. Galleth had been captured when he tried to take on these guards single-handedly. Bentley searched every criminal database in existence, but couldn't find a thing. All we had were more questions. Had Le Paradox somehow made an ally from this time period? And how had this Black Knight managed to create those mechanical monsters? When we explained to Sir Galleth who we really were, I don't know if he believed us or not. But it didn't matter. He just started ranting about taking the fight to the enemy and restoring the Cooper honor. Needless to say, the guy was a little intense. Until we figured out what was going on, I could see we were going to have to keep him on a short leash. Fuck, I fucking love Galath. Yeah. <laughs> Galath is great. And we're going to be clotheslining a la macho, but we're not going to be showing the move off for a little while anyway. So I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.